Hello, my name is Paul. I manage a small team in NatureScot who are developing the Scottish Biodiversity Metric. And this short video gives you an October 2025 update on our work. By way of introduction, the Scottish Government has commissioned NatureScot to develop a new biodiversity metric tool, specifically to support delivery of the fourth National Planning Framework's Policy 3B. This policy requires that national, major and EIA projects should demonstrate that they provide significant biodiversity enhancements in addition to any proposed mitigation. The project is focused on adapting the existing English statutory biodiversity metric to produce a tool that is suitable for use in Scotland. Policy 3B does not specify or require a particular assessment approach, but the new tool could be used to help developers show that biodiversity will be left in a demonstrably better state. It should be noted that the tool will not replace the need for professional judgment by decision makers. In terms of project timescales, we expect the Scottish Biodiversity Metric to be fully available in 2027, with a consultation planned for mid-2026 on a working draft metric tool and accompanying guidance. Although there are many strands to the project, our current work has a particular focus in the following areas. Firstly, deciding what terrestrial habitat classification system to use in the metric, and a separate update will be provided on that soon. Secondly, agreeing how the biodiversity value of habitats is scored. Third, working out how to best handle peatland habitats. Fourth, deciding how to encourage good, ambitious outcomes for nature. And finally, ensuring the tool and guidance are clear and accessible to use. We've really appreciated the input we've had from stakeholders so far, and we're now looking at more targeted engagement prior to the main consultation. We know that biodiversity metrics, whether the English metric or others, are already being employed in Scotland and that developers, planning authorities and others have an appetite for advice on the use of these existing metrics. So at the end of June 2025, we published advice on the use of existing biodiversity metrics in the Scottish planning system. This guidance explains how metric tools work. It outlines good practice on the use of existing biodiversity metrics in a Scottish planning context. And in an appendix to the guidance, it sets out the key differences between the main metrics that are currently publicly available. The guidance can be found on our Nature Scott metric webpage. Please have a look if you're interested. I'm conscious that this is a short video on our work in the Scottish Biodiversity Metric, so you may well have questions that we haven't answered here. We plan to prepare an FAQ document. So if you do have any questions on the metric, please submit them to our biodiversity metric email address, scottbiometric at nature.scot by the end of Friday 31st of October, and we'll do our best to answer these. As well as the FAQ document, we plan to give you a further update on Nature Scott's work in the metric later in the year. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this update useful. If you have any further questions, please get in touch.